parade. Oh yeah? What kind of parade, Snoozer? It's a St. Patrick's Day parade! But the parade isn't starting on time. Snoozer wonders why! I thought the train would be here by now! It's 4.10! The parade was supposed to be at 4! Hmm, where did that train come from? Over there! From down the road! Let me try something. Checkers installed supersonic zoom eyes into me. Hey! to help get the train fixed. Hmm. The train got stuck in the mud. We tried to get it out, but now it's just smoking. Well, Snoozer, can you fix it? Hmm. Checkers usually knows what to do, but he has all those inventions. Wait a minute. I have the Checkers pad. I can summon any invention I want. Now that's more like it. This engine is really hot. That's why it's smoking. Let's use the cooler tool to cool it down. I think it's working! Yay! But we need to figure out some way to get this car out of the mud. Oh boy. Well, who helped Snoozer? Sat the robot. You know, the robot who sometimes comes on the screen. Yes, Snoozer, I know who Zot is. Zot! Zot, the robot, at your service. I need you to help me get this truck unstuck. I'll push, you pull. Good thinking. Okay, little people, stand back, please. Saved the parade! And then the parade goes off without a hitch! Well, I'm glad everything worked out, Snoozer, but I have a few questions. Why on earth did you make this a St. Patrick's Day parade? Why didn't you make it something a little more connected to the end of the year holidays? What do you mean? I don't know, like Christmas or even Hanukkah or something a little more current. Oh, I was trying to think of a different holiday. Everyone always says happy holidays. So I was thinking of holidays. Oh, so, so you don't understand why people are saying happy holidays? Yeah, are they talking about all the holidays? Well, no, usually they're talking about holidays that happen towards the end of the year. Christmas? Yeah, Christmas and other ones. There are more? Snoozer, do you want to learn about the other holidays? Well, I have to. Otherwise, I won't know what they are. Well then, Snoozer, get ready because that's exactly what we're going to do today on our Reading Road Trip. Check, check. All right, snoozer. Ascending in three, two, one. And we're off. Autopilot activated. So where are we going today? Okay, snoozer, it is time for your three hints. Hint number one, it's outside. Hint number two, it is cold. And hint number three, it is somewhere in Fuzzleland. 
Oh, gosh. Let me think with my thinking cap. It is cold. The coldest place on the map is Winter Woods. Are we going there? That's right, Snoozer. We're heading to Winter Woods, where it is always winter. I thought that would be a great place to visit, especially right now when we're talking about the end-of-year holiday celebrations. Let me pull up the map. We are headed to Winter Woods to pick up a tree. Along the way, we're going to do a craft with your teacher, Mrs. Hamilton. Cool! Why are we picking up a tree? Well, Snoozer, we're going to use the tree to celebrate Christmas, and we're going to decorate it once we take it back home. Oh, yeah! I've never gone to pick up the tree, though. Sounds fun! It will be a lot of fun, Snoozer. Oh my gosh, look! Here come the books! All right, let's check out a few. What did we get, Checkers? Here you go, Snoozer. Celebrations Around the World by D.K. Publishing in an Early American Christmas by Tommy DePola. Okay, well, an Early American Christmas gives us a nice look at the history of the Christmas celebration. Christmas itself has gone through some changes over the years, so if you want a story about how it started and some of the things that were there originally, this book might be a great start for you. The book is set in New England many years ago. We see traditions of the time period, the foods, and the decorations. This is a nice book to check out, and it will give us a new look into a very well-known holiday. Hmm, I don't know the stuff in this book. Can we read this? Sure, Snoozer, we can read it tonight. But while we're talking about this book, I'm thinking about holiday traditions and especially foods. I think Mrs. Hamilton has a nice craft cooked up that's all about a very famous food that we eat around the holidays. Let's bring on Mrs. Hamilton right now and see what she has for us. Snoozer, how are we doing today? Great! Great to hear. Well, we are going to be making a gingerbread man. Doesn't that get you in the mood for some holiday cookies? All right, so just this sheet today, we're going to be cutting out all the pieces, and then we'll put them together and have our very own gingerbread man. Set out my pieces. I've got the eyes and the frosting nose and a couple of buttons. And then I'm gonna glue them on. Alright. Gotta make sure I keep my eye on this gingerbread man so he doesn't run, run as fast as he can and get away. I'm finished. How do you like them? Oh, cool. Let's see yours. Here's my gingerbread man. Oh, my. Good enough to eat. Well, I'm going to keep an eye on my gingerbread man, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can. Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Your library might even have their very own snoozer. Come and see me. Anyway, back to the show. Look, checkers, how do you like my gingerbread man? Wow, snoozer. You know, that reminds me of one of the versions of the gingerbread man from one of the stories I used to read. Oh, yeah. But my gingerbread man doesn't get eaten. My gingerbread man gets away. Yes, I never wanted the gingerbread man to be eaten by the fox, so I'm glad yours got away, Snoozer. The gingerbread man is cute and funny. He should have a gingerbread family and live in a gingerbread house. I agree, Snoozer. All right, well, our second book is called Celebrations Around the World. Now, this book isn't exclusively about winter or end-of-year holidays, but it does talk a lot about them. The book gives details about traditions and celebrations that occur in other countries. 
When it does get to later in the year holidays, we learn about the Jewish festival of Hanukkah, Dongji, the Korean festival, and the Christmas season, which is celebrated in many countries. So we've got a book that gives us insight into what other countries celebrate throughout the year. And because this book only gives us a brief look into these celebrations, that means we can go off and learn more about a certain celebration that interests us. Checkers, do you think anyone celebrates every single celebration from that book? Oh, I don't know how you'd do that, Snoozer. You'd be celebrating all year long. Hmm. Well, my gingerbread man does. He is a party man. Oh, Snoozer, look! We've arrived! All right, well, we're going to park down here, and then we're going to collect our tree and celebrate the holiday season. Well, Snoozer, here we are in our invention lab with our authentic Winter Woods tree. Oh, wowee! It's leaning! I'm going to name it Leaning. It's a good name, Snoozer. So what are we doing? Well, I think we should start decorating it then. Yeah! How are we decorating it? Good question, Snoozer. I have made ornaments out of all the crafts you made this year with Mrs. Hamilton. I thought we could hang the ornaments right on the tree. Because this isn't just going to be a Christmas tree. We're going to celebrate a lot of stuff today. All right, Snoozer, let's get to work. Snoozer, here's another ornament. What is that? Oh, Snoozer, this is called a menorah. It's part of the Hanukkah tradition. Hey, look at this. The menorah is a nine-branched candelabrum. During the eight-day Jewish holiday Hanukkah that we talked about earlier, eight of the nine branches are lit. But the ninth branch holds a candle called the shamash, which means helper or servant. And this candle is used to light the other eight throughout the festival. So, Snoozer, we're going to put this on the tree. Interesting! All right, Snoozer, I've got one other ornament up here, and that is for Kwanzaa. Now, Kwanzaa is another holiday that people mention when they say Happy Holidays. And this is a week-long celebration. It honors African heritage and African-American culture. It's observed from December 26th up to January 1st. So there's Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa all kind of put together, and that's why people say Happy Holidays. Another holiday after Christmas. I never knew! Well, Snoozer, we've got some other fun stuff to do, so do you want to play some games? Okay, here we all go! All right, first up, we're going to decorate a gingerbread house. <laughs> All right, Snoozer. How did I do? Well, it's sloppy, but at least it looks tasty. All right, well, we've celebrated our holiday season. And we only have one reading road trip left all year. Sounds good. What about that? Oh, yeah, that stuff. Well, maybe we'll find out pretty soon. Because we've got more books to talk about, we've got more places to go, and one more special thing to do on our last reading road trip. <laughs> 